It's a baseball night here in Wareham, and we're live on the Cape Cod Baseball League Network. Wareham playing host to the Chatham Anglers tonight. Up steps Sean Bouchard trying to give Chatham an early lead. Harris delivering his 22nd pitch of the inning. This one cracked out to center field and hit well. Bartosik on the run. It's over his head. All the way to the wall. Fairchild scores. Artis scores as well. And on one swing of the bat, it's 2-0 Chatham. Harris has been awarded the outside corner twice in this at-bat. 2-2, breaking ball, hit on the ground over to Cole Freeman. A run's going to score on the play. Freeman will head over to first with it for the second out of the inning. But Owen B comes around to score. 3-0 Chatham, 6-6, 185. So a little bit heavier than I am with six more inches. That's a different distribution. Freeman lines one out to shallow left center field. Fairchild on a dive, and he got it. Robbing Cole Freeman of a base hit here on the first. Ball hit up the middle. It ticks off the glove of Cetera. A yellow tags out Bartosik, and his throw on to first will be a double play. Haven't seen him in quite some time. As Artis goes the other way, down the left field line, a fair ball. One run scores. Here comes Aiello from second. He'll score as well. Artis cracking an opposite field double, scoring two runs. 5-0 Chatham. Has fallen into an 0-9 slump. Up the middle he goes, a broken bat. Garcia will take it himself. And a 6-3 double play. Nice dig on the backhand there by Vasquez. Cut on and missed. He got him for strike three. Togner escapes the jam, stranding a pair. A hit and two runners left on base. Mets hits one sharply to the shortstop, Garcia. To second for one, the relay to first. In time, a double play. It's now the third double play that Wareham is grounded into here in this ballgame. Tobelin singled up the middle last time up, and he will... Filet went out to right field. It's carrying, and it's over the head of Casey. Here comes Joey Bart. Here comes Gavin Sheets. Shaver is in the third on a slide, and the Gateman are on the board courtesy of an Adrian Tobelin two-run double. Three hits, and then the one hit by pitch have led to two runs this inning. The 2-2 from Gilbert is a check swing, and that one gets away from Troutwine. Here comes Colton Shaver. Gilbert comes set. One more on his way, and that one gets away from Trout Line. And here comes Tovalin. And without having to take a swing, Tovalin comes around to score, and it's 5 4 Chatham. It's paramount for a left handed pitcher to have a working changeup, especially to retire a bunch of right handed batters. On the ground to Freeman. Over to Grand Prix for one. On to first, and there's the double play that Ethan Small needed. Selmer has the kind of stuff that you want in the situation. Real heavy fastball. Got some sink on it that will induce the ground ball necessary to get out of this inning. And right on cue, Grand Prix over the bag for one. And on to first, it's the 6-3 double play. So on three pitches, Ryan Summer gets out of the jam and the inning. Strands all three runners on base. First pitch to Robbie Metz is swung on and hit right back up the middle for a base hit. Harrison Wenson is going to come in to score. Don Sneddon is forced to hold. Grand Prix is now coming as the throw gets away. He's in safely at home, and the Gateman takes the lead. Scary moment, though, for the Gateman as Harrison Wenson tripped on something. I didn't entirely see what, but he is down in noticeable pain. The 1-1 is hit right back up the middle once again, and that's a base hit. Here comes Robbie Metz around second. The throw from... Fairchild is well up the line, and it's 7-5 Gateman as Cole Freeman takes second on the throw. And on a couple pitches, inducing an inning-ending 6-3 double play. 1-2 pitch, slider on the inside corner, and Bouchard is down looking. 0-2 oh, pitch, foul tipped into the glove of Joey Bart. And Garcia down on strikes. It's the second strikeout of the inning for Ryan Selmer. Chatham trying to retake a lead of their own. 2-2, two, two, he got him on the inside corner. Selmer strikes out the side in the seventh. Strands a pair of base runners. 
And the 0-2 pitch swung on and missed. Ryan Selmer, when did he discover a swing and miss pitch? That's now four strikeouts for him. The job of Christian Togner, however, should not be overlooked. Comes in and after a two-run single, stops the bleeding, and keeps it right at 5 nothing. Could have easily gone from bad to worse for this Gateman team. Payoff pitch. He got him. Strike three. Selmer strikes out the pair and induces a 1-2-3 top of the eighth. Cole Freeman up for the fifth time tonight. And with a pair of hits and four plate appearances under his belt, he is now qualified for the Cape League in batting average. And a beautiful bunt there. Sanchez slides in safely. Freeman with his third hit. Second run batted in. And Wareham leads it 8-5. to five. The 1-2 pitch from Summer. Swung on and missed for strike three. Six strikeouts for Ryan Summer in relief for Wareham. And the Gatemen aren't out away. So Wareham wins it by a final score of 8-5. to five.